Have you ever looked at a body of water that looks like this and wondered why all that algae is growing on it? This algae bloom is the result of a process called eutrophication. You know how you fertilize your lawn and the lawn grows more? The fertilizer contains nutrients. Now algae are related to plants and they also photosynthesize and they also need nutrients. So when this pond gets an influx of nutrients, then the algae bloom. Well, what's so bad about all this algae growing on the surface of the pond? The problem is that algae requires sunlight. The more the algae covers the surface of the water, the less the sunlight is able to penetrate the surface of the water. And as a result, the algae underneath the top layer start to die. The process of decomposition uses oxygen. And as a result, over time, the body of water could be considered dead when there's essentially not enough oxygen in the water to support fish and other animal life. Where is the nitrogen coming from? Well, in areas with lots of farms and lawns, it's going to be from fertilizer. But this area is neither of those. So where is it coming from? One culprit is probably ducks and geese as they poop a lot and poop has a lot of nitrogen in it. Speaking of poo, we've got some poop machines here. But this area is on a septic system, and so my guess is the septic system is leaking nitrogen into the groundwater. Nutrient pollution doesn't tend to get the kind of airplay that other forms of pollution get, but globally, it's one of the biggest causes of harms to waterways. Lots of organisms rely on aquatic ecosystems, including people. So the next time you see a pond that looks like this, Stop and think about the kinds of impacts that I might be having on the living things that depend on it. And also how we might work to reduce the sources of pollution.